right, Mr. Ryan. Thank you, Ryan, for having us tonight. Uh, I know you guys have been waiting a long time to be entertained, and, and I do want to like speak to his point before. If we had like a major headliner comic up here, uh, just so you know, everybody that was up here tonight is way funnier than any of your friends. Okay? First of all. Second of all, um, I know the Cavs game's on. Some of us are probably pretty distracted. Did anybody watch the All-Star game? No. One person watched the All-Star I know yeah, everybody's lying. but um, So you know that John Legend did the entire halftime. Local. John Legend from Ohio. John Legend from Ohio. Um, you know, I I'm pretty sure his voice is so smooth and soothing that when Chrissy Teigen sits on his face, he just sings. Right? Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Take it up another octave. That was a new joke. Uh, my name's Matthew. I just turned 29 recently. And by recently, I mean like a year and a fucking half ago. That sucks. Um... For me, ladies and gentlemen, turning 30 just means that I've just given up on everything. Why clean my car? It's Cleveland. It's going to rain. Why make my bed? I'm just going to sleep in it again. Why treat my herpes? That shit's forever. I've been in sales for a long time. I sell mattresses, I'll get to that. Um, sales is pretty cool, especially if you like the part about sucking customers' dicks. That's, that's a lot of fun. I have sold a lot of different things. I do sell mattresses now. Um, would they call us sleep experts to try to like help our self-esteem, right? And uh, I, I know a lot about sleep. And uh, I know that you're not supposed to sleep on your stomach, right? I am a side and sometimes a stomach sleeper. Um, uh, but I have determined that sleeping on your stomach is the best way to cry into your pillow every night. Yeah. Everybody in the audience has all this light and energy in their eyes. The people up here tonight, just death. There's nothing in there. There's nothing in there. Look deep. Look deep. Um, I, I, so I've sold a little bit of everything. I've actually determined, I'm really good at interviews. I've determined the best way to answer the classic interview question, what would you do if I told you, sell me this pen? And I would say, sir, you need to please buy this pen for me today because if you don't, I'm going to go home and I'm going to fucking kill myself because I sell fucking pens for a living. How much profit margin can possibly be in a pen? I mean, this is the Wexler's bar, so we probably have pen salesmen in the, in the crowd somewhere. Somebody's ears perked up when I said that. Yeah, um, I'm 30, and, and I'm single. Give it up. Single, single folks. Alright? Um, I've, like I said, I've given up on everything, but I've also tried everything. I've tried Match, I've tried Tinder, I've tried Plenty of Fish. The only thing that I haven't tried is being completely honest in your bio where you write about yourself. <laughs> Most of us would be fucked. I kind of imagine it like a game show, like swiping away. Here we have up next is Matthew Scott. He's a self-deprecating uneducated fuckboy with really bad credit.
Um, I, have a, I have a pretty funny story for you guys. This is story time, y'all. So uh, my sister uh, works at a dental surgeon's office, right? They do like hardcore surgeries on, on people's mouths. And she told me the best story. Poor girl comes in for surgery, lays down on the chair, and you're supposed to be paying attention to their teeth and their mouth, but somehow they noticed her leggings were ripped right down the middle and her labia was hanging out. I said, oh my gosh, that's crazy. What's a labia? And once, once we got past that, um, I, I said that that story is really funny, right? But in order for it to be hilarious, you've got to be like super descriptive about it. Like, how was it? Like, was it like a candle, like dripping wax, and it started melting down the side and just started dripping down? Or was it like a pastry chef with their bag of frosting, and they're just squeezing the shit out of that? I said you had needle and thread. What, are you supposed to tuck it back in there and like fix it up and sew her back up, right? <laughs> I said, uh, instead of a suture, I guess you'd call it a snatcher. Um, bad pun right there, bad pun. Ooh, I need a drink after that. So then of course it would go like this, like the girl would wake up and uh, the doctor would say to her, your crown is all fixed, and now you have an accidentally pierced pussy. So yeah. Um, I, I, I get the vibe that I, I'm totally gonna switch gears now because I'm not, I don't like being misogynistic or a womanizer. I, I really wanna be a womanizer just cause that word sounds cool. It's got a W, it's got a Z. <laughs> You know, that's, that's pretty cool. Um, but, uh, yeah, let me, let me, I get the vibe that maybe the host or, or some, somebody else in the room is maybe a, a nerd. Like, does anybody PC game on the PC? That's called a personal computer. Yeah, you play PC games. All right, you're going to like this one. So my friends are all into their PC gaming, right? I go over their house, I sit there, I watch them play League of Legends. It sucks. <laughs> I don't know if you guys knew this, but PC gaming is all about clicking. It's all about how fast you can click. It's rapid. Like, you can wear out a mouse. I didn't, I, I thought mouses lasted forever. Mice? I thought, whatever, whatever you want to call them. Mouses. Yeah, like they actually wear out and you have to replace them. So this is my impression of my friends PC gaming. And they're clicking the all night long. This is me on the PC. <laughs> and you guys know the rest? Until the librarian walks in and says, if you don't leave, I am calling the cops. <laughs> That's never good. That's never good. That's very awkward. Um, so yeah, um, do you guys want to wrap this up by 10.15 or can I take some suggestions from the audience? Can you give, give me a suggestion. Otherwise I'm just going to wrap things up, which I don't normally do. Um, so my name's Matthew. I've been doing comedy for over a year. And uh, I decided to start doing it because I always just kind of felt funny inside. Turns out that was stomach cancer. Hey, having cancer is not funny. But 
having being a comic's a lot like having cancer. All your friends and family seem to support you a hell of a lot more when they know you're fighting this losing battle. Thank you, Wexlers. My name is Matthew Scott. You can follow me on everything, just not to my car. Okay? All right, have a good night, Wexlers. Thank you.